My name is Ian Lamont. I'm the author of Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes, available from in30minutes.com. Today I'm going to be talking about how to publish a Microsoft Word document on the web. And you may think, what's the point of doing that? The answer is, maybe you want to show your work to other people, um, maybe you want to make it available to a wider audience, whatever. This is how to do it. Now, this is actually a multi-step process, so you have to pay, pay attention to see how to, to do it. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload a Microsoft Word doc to, to Google Drive. Then I'm going to convert it to a Google Drive doc. And then I'm going to publish it to the web. Here's how to get started. Go to Google, Google, go to Google Drive and log on. You'll need an account. It's very easy to set up. Click this button that looks like an arrow pointing up. It says Upload. Choose Files. Find the Microsoft Word doc that you want to convert. So the one I'm going to do is this. It's a book to, uh, pro, it's a prologue for a book that my company is publishing. Click Open. Uh, this is a small Word doc, so it quickly gets uploaded. Now, um, then what you need to do is you need to convert it to a uh, Google Docs doc, and that Google Docs is basically the word processing program for uh, Google Drive. Right now, it's a Microsoft Word doc. Select the checkbox next to it. Go to More. Open with Google Docs. What's going to happen is Google Drive will convert it to Google Docs, the Google Drive word processor. Um, and then if you want to, you can edit it. But more importantly, you'll be able to publish it on the web. This is how you do it. So it's still kind of churning through that. I can't edit anything right now. I have to wait for this to show up. Okay, it's ready to go. Now, if I wanted to, I could edit stuff, but I'm not really interested in doing that right now. Like, I could add more words. Prologue to the new book. Okay, I don't want to do that, so let's get rid of that. I just want to publish this to the web. Go to File, and then scroll down and select Publish to the web. And a little dialog will appear. Control publishing. Um, automatically republish when changes are made. Uh, that means that when you publish this document to the web and you make some changes later on, those will be updated. Just click Start Publishing. Now, one important thing to know, it'll make sure that you want to do that, is the link will let people view the document. It won't let them change the document. And that's a pretty important thing to understand. Um, and it gives you basically two, two options to uh, publish it. One is this document link. So let's see what that looks like in another browser. It should be easily viewable. And then the other option down here while we're waiting for that to open is the embed code. And this means that you can embed it inside a web page. If you know HTML or you're, you're doing a web publishing, that should make sense. And the other thing you can do is you can share it on Twitter or Facebook, Google Mail, which is a useful thing too. So I've copied that link, and I'm going to paste it into another browser, Safari, and let's see if it shows up. Remember, this is a book prologue, and yes, it does. So you can see I can read this uh, document, but I can't edit it. I can just basically scroll down. But that's enough for most people. So if, you, if I wanted to share this uh, link with other people, I could go back to Google Drive. Uh, for instance, I could email it in Gmail, or I could post it on Twitter or Facebook. So this is a really a pretty useful function. If you do save the document link, uh, make sure you put it in like a text editor or maybe email it to yourself so you just have a record of it. But you can come back and get this pretty easily. Uh, but that's basically how you do it. So for more information about how to get the most out of Google Drive and Docs, check out my book, Google Drive and Docs in 30 minutescom I talk about uh, publishing on the web, many other tips as well. It's available via in30minutes.com. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I hope to see you soon.